Hi everyone, this is Tara from the Rye Free Reading Room and today I want to talk to you more about media, what makes a good source, and where to turn to in this time where there's a lot of information, some of it's true, some of it's not, and you kind of want to know what's accurate and what's reliable. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a website from the University of Georgia that kind of just goes over what is a good source. So here we have um, this guide that was made by librarians at the University of Georgia. And so they define a reliable source as one that provides a thorough, well-reasoned theory, argument, discussion, et cetera, based on strong evidence. So what that means is you want to make sure your source is either, is it peer reviewed if it's an article, that the author has some type of credentials, um, that the newspaper or magazine that's publishing it is reliable, they're well established. Um, so we're going to go over here. So just some criteria to look at is, like we said, who's the author? Are they credible? Do they have credentials in the field about what they're talking about? If they're talking about um, medicine, do they have a degree as a doctor? Um, you know, a lot of sources will be with an article um, saying where they got the information. And you also want to look at how current the information is, especially with um, the coronavirus COVID-19. It's not only like daily that the information is changing, it's hourly sometimes. So you want to make sure that to check the date because something that was true last week may not be true this week or may have been updated. So especially in what everything that's going on today, you want to make sure that you check that date. Um, so this guide, the address is right there. I also want to go to another one by um, the University of California Berkeley Library. So that link is right there. Um, and so this one is more about fake news, but can also help you establish if something is um, credible. And it can also help you kind of know more about the story. It's reading past the headline. It's also checking the date. A lot of things today have these catchy headlines. And it may not exactly be what the article is about. Or it may be kind of like, oh, that's kind of true. But this is really what we're trying to talk about. Or the headline is out of context. So sometimes like on a TV show where they leave you on a cliffhanger before the next commercial, um, they make it sound like, oh, someone's angry or something. And then you see when commercial ends that, oh, it was out of context and it wasn't that big of a deal. They just did that to catch your attention. Sometimes headlines do that too. So you want to, you know, kind of skim the article, see who's putting it out there. Who's the author? Are there sources used? Um, and just overall think about what it is you're reading. And especially before you share something, double check it because we don't want to spread false news. We don't want to create panic or give out false information. You want to check something for your good and for your neighbor and your community's good. Um, so another thing that you can do if you're like, well, I'm not sure. You can go to, there's these things called fact checkers and both of these websites have them. And there's one called factcheck.org, which I do have open over here. Um, and you can look up different things that have been said on the media. Um, some of them you can scroll through, some you can, you know, type in a question that you have. And what this is, is that people go through and kind of do that research for you. They go, oh, did someone said this, is it true? Let me find the information. And that's something that you can also do online, you know, search and see, can I find this statement or this article, what's being said in it somewhere else from a reputable source? Um, so for like news sources, places like the New York Times, the BBC, the Guardian, PBS, they're all these well-established places that are trying to, you know, give accurate news. And also you want to make sure that you're reading a news article, ne not necessarily an opinion piece. Um, and something from here that is also helpful is this ethics. Does this magazine, this newspaper, this publisher have this code of ethics that they're just trying to 
be accurate and fair and complete and not biased. Um, so when it comes to, let's say you want to look up something about the coronavirus, COVID-19, you want to go to the source more. So the CDC, which is just cdc.gov, is going to have all their information, different things on symptoms, home care, um, who has how many cases, what states, what countries, all of this is going to be in here. Um, you can also go to the New York State website, ny.gov, and they're going to have information, especially about what's going on in New York, what the rules are right now, what's going on in the hospitals. Um, that's going to be up here. But also remember with these sites that if the governor's speaking, why they're trying to update the website, it's not going to be immediate. So that's something that if you know that the governor is speaking, you might want to give it a little bit before you check the website to make sure everything has been updated to reflect the most current news. Um, you can also go to Westchester Gov. Um, that's going to give you information about what's going on in Westchester County. Um, you can also go to ryeny.gov to see what's going on for the city of Rye specifically. Um, and that's where you can get your best local news. You can also get local news from LOHUD or the Rye Record, but um, those might not be as up to date as what the city is giving you, or they might be covering different stories. Um, so you want to go to the closest to the source that you can. Um, and so there are other places like Facebook or My Rye, different places like that that are sh sharing things like let's say what grocery stores are open for the elderly at certain hours or who's doing what for, you know, the nurses in the area or something like that. And that can be a great place for those type of things. But you also want to make sure that you're checking anything from those because remember the internet, anyone can write anything, anything can post whatever they want on Facebook, on the internet in general. So you always want to check that just because something is written doesn't make it true. I can make up something, put it on the internet, and it's out there. So you want to check what's being said on these things. You don't want to just share something without checking the source because then that's spreading misinformation and that can be dangerous. Um, and especially now when we just want to help each other and get through this, we want to make sure that we're not spreading misinformation. So remember, if it's on Facebook or something like that, just go and do a Google search. Go to a fact checker and see, is this information accurate? Just like if you saw that a supermarket changed its hours, you might call them and just be like, hey, I saw this, um, just double checking, are these your new hours? Do a Google search to make sure a piece of information is true. Um, so that's kind of just a brief, here's how to find accurate information using accurate sources, um, especially now. I know we're, you know, we're all scared. We want to make sure we have correct information. And remember, um, the Rye Free Reading Room, we have librarians that are doing virtual service right now. We're happy to help you find some information, help you kind of fact check if you need it the best we can. Um, we're here to help. So reach out to us if you need it and have a great night, everyone.